Good morning, everybody. AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Take a good look. If you need amplifier work done, text me or call. I'm not really checking emails. I just don't have time to respond to emails, so I have my phone on me all the time, so it's best to just contact me through my phone. You can also send pictures of your amplifier to that number. Okay, so today we will be adding the output relays to the 6 meter amp. I'm waiting on parts for the other stuff. Everything's ordered. And once those amplifiers are done, I will put four more amplifiers on my bench. And so on. So, current wait time is, is about two weeks. You know, about a week here and then I'll order the parts, wait for the parts. So, getting, I'm getting everything done quickly. You know, there's no uh, one year wait or multi month wait. There's really no excuse for that. You know, so um, so if someone tells you that that's uh, it's kind of ludicrous. No matter how many pieces I have, I I get them done. Okay, so here we have the brand new genuine Jennings RJ two B relays, twenty six volt coil. Jennings is unfortunately no longer in business, so these are going to become uh, becoming hard to find. Uh, so, as you can see, fresh contact contacts. I'll be using SFT 600 coax for the output coax. Same diameter as LMR 600 silver plated stranded center conductor with a Teflon dielectric triple shield FEP jacket it's the big big brother to RG393 and then this is RG400 or 142 one or the other it's like the baby brother all Teflon coax so I'm gonna get to work and then I'll explain it all I also have to do the feed through coax which will be this size and I will tune the feed through SWR. I'll show how I do that. And uh, I'll see you soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so I am back. I have a plan. I will mount the two vacuum relays to this material. Boom, boom. With some overhang for a standoff. So basically, they will be mounted off the side wall with the normally open contact facing the back of the load tuner. So it'll be like boom, boom, with a copper strap connecting them to each other. And then I'll have a strap screwed and soldered to that strap between those two terminals that will come up at an angle. Actually, we'll go from there to underneath the washer. It'll be thinner strap than this. So if this has any movement up and down while it's being tuned, that strap will flex, not putting any stress on the contact on the uh, terminals here. I've seen people use braided material. I don't like using that. It adds more inductance. So I've never broken a vacuum relay contact ever. So okay, so I'm gonna get to work. Where are the standoffs? be out an inch and a half from the wall so I'll see you guys soon stay tuned okay so the plate has been cut holes drilled I'm gonna mount the vacuum relays I'll be right back okay, I'm back they are mounted so this is the normally open side they'll be jumped together with a strap the strap going over to the low tuner will connect right in the middle the common side that goes to the 716 DIN output connector also jumped. The coax will connect right in the middle. This is the normally closed side. I only need one. That's for the feed through coax. This one's bent over. I do not have to parallel those. That's what it looks like. 
Okay, so basically, like I said before, we mounted right like that. Okay, I'll manipulate the coil so it's not too close. Let me move my hand. Boom, just like that. Okay, so I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, I'm back. Relays have been installed. As you can see, I give everybody a nice view. The connections made dead center on the common side and dead center on the normally open side. Only using one contact for the normally closed side since it's just as driver for this amplifier. The other one is folded to the side since it's not needed and it I want to bring them as close as possible. Got the feed through cap which is a thousand puff and then I have a .01 in parallel on the other side to ground. Ground side of the coils uh, connected right to the chassis. I have a flyback diode across one of the coils. Only need one since both are in parallel. Use braid, braided strap right there in case this moves uh, you know, up and down or at all from tuning. What I do is I fold copper over on the end and solder it together. Uh, this is temporary since I, I have to take this out. I'm sure I'll have to tune this. Uh, when I go to resonate the output network, it'll get a washer and a split washer. So the other side got the same thing and it's secured right in the center of that strap. So what I do is I punch the hole on either side of the strap to the almost the size of the, of the um, uh, tubes coming out of the uh, relays. These are Jennings. They're brand new RJ2Bs as you saw. They, I slip it on, make sure there's no tension on them. And I fold the edge over against the side and solder everything. So this was soldered first, the coax goes through, folds over, soldered, and then I made sure it slipped on and off with no tension side to side. So that's all done. I got the feed through coax, which is Teflon. The shield goes all the way up, almost to the connection. I have heat shrink over and it's rounded right at the grommet with a tab here, soldered. See, proper gap, proper gap, right to the wall with copper, 716 DIN, it's protected. So, next will be, I gotta do the um, feed through SWR, which is easy. Uh, put a safety choke in, which is not in yet. I'm done for today. And uh, the coax uh, for the feed through is connected to the input uh, relay. I'll show that. Uh, later on, um, probably in the next video, and uh, what else? Just have to resonate the output, tune the coils, and put all the screws in. I have to put washers and split washers, and that's about it. This thing uh, will be done. So um, I'm gonna do something else. I'm not gonna talk about that yet, but actually, I'll show you that relay really quick. Uh, it's hard to see, but where is it? There it is. You can see the straps connected to both sides. You can see it coming through. I'll show you a better view of it in the next video. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Let's see the stand off. So let you see a really good view of everything. Sorry, making all sorts of noise here. And that strap will get manipulated. This is not the final configuration. That'll get manipulated away from the tops of the relays. This one will be manipulated also. So remember, this, these are the rough values and they will get altered, I'm sure. So I have to put the shafts through also, but they line right up. So thanks for watching. Amprepairguy.com, 203-892-4119. I'll give you another view here. And slow. So. 73. Catch y'all later. Stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe so you get a notification when I put my next video on.